Malachi, this weekend Veterans Day events are happening across the upstate, but some organizations are getting a head start. It's always a good time to say thank you. Seven News reporter Nicole Ford at one school's program where nearly 50 veterans showed up. Step by step, red, white, and blue are being placed outside the VA clinic in Anderson by veterans honoring veterans. Just down the road at Concord Elementary, a younger generation is doing the same but in their own way. My dad is a veteran, and I just wanted to, um, on New Concord, I never had a Veterans Day program before, or at least not in a very long time, and so I just wanted to do something special to um, have an opportunity to teach the children patriotic songs. And ultimately, teaching them what it means to be a veteran. Third, joined the Army, 1967, spent four years in the Army, got out in 1971. For Jerry Jackson, programs like these ones go a long way. And we need to teach our children history of our country. We need to have them have a, an appreciation of our country and what we have to do in order to get there. He tells me that his father fought in World War II and most of the other veterans around him followed in a parent's footsteps. But that isn't always the case now. I think in today's world, our children do not understand because most of their family members have never served in service. So through song, lessons, and seeing the veterans firsthand, the hope is these students leave school with an appreciation for those that have served our country. Students, they learn about, you know, U.S. history and all of the battles and wars that were fought, um, but they really, you know, have to make that personal connection. I think it was important for all the veterans that came here today, the students could see, you know, tons of personal connections and be able to connect that with what they've learned in the classroom. In Anderson, Nicole Ford, 7 News. This was the first year, as you heard, for Concord Elementary School's program, and they had veterans from every branch of the military. Now, across the